Well, actually, the, the, the retail trader has been taking a bit more exposure over the last month to the market. And then if I look specifically at last week when we had all the volatility, Sarah, it seemed like Friday afternoon, uh, or Friday and Friday afternoon particularly is when we saw people start to buy a bit more. It's interesting. Retail usually leads with sort of Apple and Microsoft in terms of vol volatile times as the stocks they want to go to. And uh, in, in this case, it was took until Friday until people really started to buy those. So we didn't see the uh, what we see in the past were aggressive buying pretty much immediately. So what, what were they what else were they looking to buy? So so yeah. So some of the other names they, they, they started to buy interesting uh, DraftKings and AMC two stocks that I know you guys talk about a lot when they got under 32. We started to see clients not necessarily new clients Sarah but we saw a lot of clients adding to their positions overall that didn't hold true for GameStop. We did not see buyers. In fact we started to see a bit more sellers in terms of what they were doing in GameStop which I thought was pretty interesting overall. Uh, Moderna you know was one every time it gaps down. We have seen clients start to nibble at that one, so I'm going to be very interested to see what happens to that stock over the next few weeks, as I know it had a little bit of a you know, rougher day earlier this morning. And then NVIDIA and AMD. NVIDIA has been such a favorite over the last month, continued through last week. That's been a stock that our clients have been on for a while. They really do seem to like the, the action in that stock. And, uh, you know, again, one that a lot of people have sort of, uh, over the last few months, put a lot of money in their portfolio on. Yeah. JJ, over the last month and the last week, were, were your clients overall net buyers or net sellers of, of U.S. equities? Uh, uh, they were net buyers overall, more so uh, over last month where we saw them take about a 7.5% higher exposure to the market than in the past. Last week they were buyers, Wolf, but as I said, it really took until Friday when clients started to buy a little bit more. I think they were a little bit nervous earlier in the week and with some of the, you know, as Mike just got done talking about, some of these volatility swings heading into the end of the year. I think people were a little bit more nervous, uh, you know, coming, coming off November. Are they buying into the weakness in Tesla? Uh, you know, it's interesting, Sarah. Tesla, sub 1,000. Our clients start to buy. So we saw buyers this morning, actually, some buyers on Friday. But the interesting thing to me about Tesla was that earlier in the week, actually, our clients had started to, you know, lighten up a little bit on Tesla. So now as, as it hit a th it hit that thousand level, you know, 1,020 to 1,000 on Friday and then sub 1,000 today, we definitely started to see clients step up. And in fact, you know, not just clients adding to position, Sarah, but new clients coming into Tesla in order to buy it there.